Hey guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to install themes on your iPhone. This saves so much time from traditionally just going and creating a custom app icon for each individual app through the Series Shortcuts app. You get a lot of apps that allow you to now just install themes on your phone. So you basically add a bunch of app icons on your phone and they are automatically synced to whichever app they're set up for. And it's just so much faster and easier to do. So let's get into it and I'll get, show you guys my favorite app for just getting this done on your phone. Now this is the app that I mostly recommend for this just because of how reliable it is. It really is such a great app with a bunch of things that you can do in it. You've probably heard of this app before because it is pretty popular. Um, but yeah, this is definitely the app that I recommend most for this. Um, but before we go into the app, I just wanna quickly show you guys a theme that I actually made using color widgets um, and only using color widgets and nothing else. Um, so let's go to my home screens. And this purple one right here, I'm gonna go in and then you'll see here, I have this. So this looks really cool. And as you can see, I have a bunch of custom app icons on here. We have some widgets here at the side. This looks really cool and I really love the look of it. Um, so yeah, this is something that I made using just color widgets, widgets and um, as you can see, it just, it looks really nice. And the wallpaper even is also from Color Widget. So it saves you so much time because you just get one simple theme for your entire phone. So let's go into Color Widgets and then we'll take a look at everything they have here. So here you can see these are all the widgets that I have set up for my phone. Um, these are the ones that you saw me just show you guys for that theme. Um, and then you have all your widgets here in this widget section. Um, then you also have the icons section here, which is where you'll see all the app icons that they have available. Now you will see some of them have the word pro in the top right corner, which means that you do need to pay for it. Otherwise it is completely free. Um, but we're gonna get into how to add these to your phone just in a bit. Um, and then we're gonna go to the most important part that I wanna cover, which is the themes section. Now this is definitely my favorite part of it. So here you can see it just shows you an idea, gives you an idea of like what the theme will look like, um, whether it's a pro theme, so you need to pay for it, or whether it's just free. So these are all free. This one is pro because it has that little icon there. So I'm just gonna look for one that I like that I wanna add. Here's the one that I previously showed you that I have installed. Now you'll see some things are a bit different here. So on mine, I didn't have this widget just because if you tap on the setup, you'll see it gives you, it shows you everything that they have here. Um, so some of these things might be free and some of them might be pro. So for instance, for this one, the app icons were a pro pack. So I just chose one that's very similar to it. Um, and then the wallpaper was free and this widget was free and the other reminders widget was free. Um, so I just went ahead and kind of set it similarly. Um, and then I just found a similar icon pack here in icons section. I'm pretty sure maybe it was this one. Um, and then I just set it up the way that I liked it. Um, with the free options that it has. So yeah, some of them are bundled with free version things and pro version things. And then you're gonna kind of just have to mix and match until you find the look for yourself. But I definitely wanted this look with the three widgets and the app icons. So yeah, I just kind of went with what I could and made it work for me. I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one now to show you guys how this works. So all you need to do is you gotta tap on it. So here you can see um, we have our little widgets that they um, have set for this here. And then we also have um, the app icons, which are luckily a free set. And then the wallpaper you can also download. So then you just go ahead and select set all widgets. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and replace that with some other ones. And then I'm gonna go ahead and download the wallpaper. And then we're gonna go ahead and click on set icons here. And then you can choose which ones you want. So you can select or deselect any of those. So if there's an app that you don't want on your phone, you can go ahead and turn that offer on. So some of them are selected and then they have some that are not selected. So you can go through and choose which ones you have on your phone that you wanna activate. So say I wanna add in Shazam and the Xbox app. Um, I can go ahead and add that, PayPal, I can add, um, 
yeah so it just goes you can just go through all of these and then here at the bottom which is really cool is you can add an icon say it doesn't have something that you want um you can go ahead and just go and search through these to see something that you like so say you have a coffee shop that they did not have available for you you can go ahead and go to this icon then it shows you which apps it would recommend you um link to that icon so then you can choose whichever one you want so say they only had the starbucks app but you wanted it to be set to a duncan app then you can go ahead and just set that and have your own custom app icon here um, which is really cool so that is also something you can do if they don't have the ones that you're looking for but once you've selected all of them you can go ahead and click install 59 icons this app is full of a lot of um, ads though so just be aware that is kind of the price you need to pay to get all these things then it's going to bring up this pop-up menu and you're just going to click on download icon here and then it gives you all the steps of how you um, need to set this up or you have the option to just save the icons to your photos, um, but then you're gonna have to individually set them up while if you just download the icons like this, then it will be installed for you automatically. So I recommend doing the download icons and click on allow here and then close. So um, then you are basically done. So then all you need to do is go into settings and it will say profile downloaded here at the top, go into there and then just click on install. Don't worry, it's nothing bad on your phone or anything. It's not gonna do anything weird. It's just gonna go ahead and add in all those app icons to your home screen. So now you'll see on the open screens on your phone, you have all the app icons set here. And then you can go ahead and on your photos, see you have the wallpaper set. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up and show you guys once I'm done. So I just went ahead and set up a lock screen for this theme that I wanted. Um, so this is the lock screen that I'm going with. I also changed the wallpaper to the one that we downloaded for this. If you don't know how to do all this with wallpapers on iOS 16, I'll have a video linked in the eye top so you guys can check this out and see how you can get this look. Um, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and add in my widgets. So here you can see this is what it looks like so far. So let's go ahead and add our widgets by holding down on our screen, clicking on the plus button here in the top left. And we're gonna go to the color widgets app, which is gonna be here. So here you can see you can choose which sizes you want. So I'm gonna want this bigger one like they showed on the theme at the top and then a smaller one. Um, let's go to color widgets again here. Um, beneath that one. Now, as you can see, they're both set to the quote right now, but all you need to do is you're gonna tap on it and choose the widgets that is it, it is set to. So this is gonna be widget number two. If you're not sure which ones are set to which, you can just go into the color widgets app and you can see here at the top at your widgets, it's gonna tell you which widgets are set to what style. So you can go ahead and go through all that if you wanna make sure which widget is set to what. So then we have it set up here. This is our home screen now and it has all our apps here and each app is directly linked to whichever app it is set to. So um, if an app is not on your phone, so say for instance, I don't have ESPN on my phone, when you open it up, it's just gonna make a blank screen. So don't worry about that. Then you can just go ahead and remove that bookmark. It's basically called a bookmark. And if you do have an app on your phone, it will automatically, if I click on settings here, take me into settings. It's not gonna have any problems with that because like I said, it automatically links it for you. You don't have to do anything else. It's very quick and easy to just set up and it saves you so much time rather than going and individually making each app icon. So yeah, that is how you can set up a custom theme on your iPhone, very quick and easy using the Color Widgets app. I really recommend you guys test this out, try it out. You don't even have to go with set themes. You can just use those themes as inspiration, get your own app icon pack that you like in the icon section, and then you're good to go. So yeah, this is a very nice thing you can do on your phone. I hope this helped you guys out and saves you some time. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up and comment down below letting me know any other questions you might have. Definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other customization videos like this and click on a video to see my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!